You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, round one ready to go. Here is Misha Tate. A fast start has not been a staple to her UFC tenure. She has been forced to rally at times to come back to beat fighters like Holly Holm and Sarah McMahon. So I know it's something her camp has emphasized in this training camp, getting great timing on that double leg. With conviction, she moves right into half guard. Oh, she's got the Von Flute choke now. Oh, she's got the Von Flute choke locked in. Oh, how good is that as she gets out? She is so aware on the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. This is a terrible position. Oh! But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. And really starting to make these shots count. Oh, my right oh. Big ground and pound. She is so dominant from the top position. You have to fight that. Oh, really good strikes by her here in top position. Beautiful transition. She's as good a ground striker as there is in this division. Landed another one there. Oh, and there it is. So after an extended battle on the ground, she gets back to her feet, and the crowd is absolutely eaten up. She was not going to settle on her back. Even though it was very difficult, she finally works her way back up, and now she's got to let the hands go. Boom, straight left hand. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Immediately gets the underhook. Oh! oh, judo toss, made it look easy. Changes her stance. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? She gained separation, breaks that clinch position. Strong roundhouse kick there. Under a minute to go in the round. Stuff to take down, no problem. Tate gets back up. Man, she is just relentless. Unbelievable. Oh, nice takedown defense. Well, she's already landed several big takedowns, and there's another one. So you gotta like what you're seeing here. This offensive wrestling is on point. It's unbelievable the variety of takedowns is what I am truly a fan of. It's not just one thing. She is doing different approaches, different takedowns to really, really confuse her opponent. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. This work last The ground control is unbelievable. She has no answer for it. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do the same thing we did last round. The judges, no doubt, screwed. All right, so big round for her there. Not much wasted motion when it comes to the ground strikes. DC, take us through the highlights. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, when you watch someone that is so well-versed at ground and pound fighting, it is a joy to watch, especially for a guy like me. She did a great job of truly knowing exactly where she needed to go. She does not go... You ready to fight? You ready? Second Good. round here. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. She lands another head kick. How is her opponent still standing? Takedown defense is there. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Oh, nice jab to the head by Tate. Nice. Nicely done. Brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Huge kick lands again. Oh. She's in a lot of trouble, John. She's gonna have to be so smart to reach the final dub. Big right hand. Oh. 
Huge left. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Big right hook attempt, but she misses. Big shot lands for both guys. So two minutes to go here in our second round. Tate gets back up, good sign for her there. So a lot of strikes have landed here and she has some swelling now to prove. Well, she's landing that jab, the right hand, she can't miss. She cannot miss. And right now, while the swelling has started, it's not critical. She needs to make sure she's better defensively so that we don't get to that point. Oh, very nice defense there for her nice hips. Hook shot lands. One minute now to go round two. All right, so once again, she chooses to strike here and not a particularly good sequence for her there. Maybe time to lean on the wrestling chest. It's not natural, you know, so even though it may feel good on the pads, it's not natural when you have an opponent in front of you moving around. And she seems lost, but if she can get some takedowns, maybe she'll find success with her hands as the fight goes on. Oh, she cracked her up top there out of the clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Another big shot to the head. Good run. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round, and now the focus for the cut man shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. Ready fight. Ready. Third yeah, round underway. Well, pretty good showcase for these two women in the previous round as our next round gets underway. Some risk management in the previous five minutes there. This is a big moment for both of these fighters. Somebody is really going to have to make a decision that they are the one that's going to get their hand raised. The previous round was way too close. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, nice jab by Tate. Oh, she gets inside and gets the single collar attack. Oh, rips the body shot there. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Well, she has really shored some things up defensively here. She blocks another set of shots there. She said it was going to be a focus, get better defensively, and tonight she's showing that the work has been done. Oh, she continues to pour it on. She is landing at will, eternally aggressive with her striking, and she also has a pretty good gas tank, so she doesn't appear to be worried about that. All right, side control for her now. And you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength. We'll see what she can do from here. Well, she's got great upper body strength, and that's why she passes, because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control her opponent's upper ground. So she goes to side control and hopes that you give your back. That's right. why you see she has so many rear naked choke submissions. I would never give you my back. Don't give me back. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut in her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now. But if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. Ah, uh, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Oh, maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponent's a beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Final 
final seconds of round three. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through it. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet. So you knew when you were watching her land so many strikes low, eventually she would go high, and she did and got that big knockdown that really did determine this round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. That kick lands. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. All right, now we get a little bit of separation. Oh, nicely done by her there. She's got a single power in the punch. You'll see DC. Let's see if she can close the show here. She landed that strike perfect. She was looking for it, and she found the moment where it landed. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh my goodness, she's got it deep. Oh wow! Oh, oh great submission defense as she gets out. Oh, look, she got a dart. That dart choke is tight. Dar choke around the neck, she might get it. But the only way to make sure that she does is to oh, she got out. How good is that? Oh, flapjack, she got flattened out there. All right, so now blood is a factor. That ground strike Try opened back. her up. Try back. And now she's in mount. Nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work at putting the money in the bank Fight with that back. grounded palm. Money in the bank. Two minutes now to go. Oh, she's setting up another submission. Now it's tight. There it is. It's work, I'm gonna start this out. Oh, not anymore, she got out. Unbelievable that she was able to survive that deep Ezekiel choke attempt. Pretty impressive ground and pound display here, champ. She's doing a great job of finding the right time to take her ground and pound opportunities. Attempting a choke now. Oh, looks like she's got that arm triangle locked in. in here, could be the end, and there it is! Oh. Woo! That has got to feel good! Oh my goodness. Well, this arena is officially on fire right now after what she just did. There are a few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a win by submission, and she got it done with style points here tonight. She got it done with style points, John. This young lady is a submission wizard. And it was on full display tonight as she gets another submission victory. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number four. For the winner by submission, Kayla!